Hi, welcome back to Raycom TV. Andy here with Vincent from Deity, product manager of Deity. And we're here today to talk about a product that we've got quite excited about, the, uh, the SPD-1 power distribution solution, which is very nice, very neat, compact solution with some great features. Um, so Vincent, tell us about it. Yeah, so uh, we developed this uh, specifically for bag or cart use, uh, mainly bag because uh, for cart you usually need uh, need bigger uh, power distribution. Mm -hmm. uh, so what is using uh, smart uh, batteries as an input? Uh, it also works with so-called dumb batteries. But okay. We made it that it can read the SM bus data from a smart battery. What that means is there's a couple of sensors in here. For example, uh, the exact voltage uh, uh, readout, temperature, uh, and cycles. Like if you, for example, these are rated up to a thousand cycles or something like that. And then you can have a clear vision of how many cycles you already been through. Yeah. Uh, so I'm pointing at the screen now, as you can see. So the screen has- Which is an important thing. It's giving you a lot of good information there. Yeah, exactly. So uh, really the, the actual draw you're taking out of it. Now there's nothing plugged in at the moment, but here, in the back, you can see it's powering a mixer and a, um, a time code device at the moment, and it can show you accurately what it is. So, mm -hmm. uh, but it starts obviously at the back. So at the back, we have actually two inputs. Uh, we're now currently using uh, one on a battery. I have another one connected as well. Two cups in, the, uh, in this occasion, mm -hmm. meant to like hot swap batteries, or if you have a really long day. That's really handy if you suddenly get into a bit of a panic. You can just take one off and yeah, bang another yeah, battery I would, in there. I would first plug the other one in and then <laughs> take oh, that yeah, one yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, probably a good idea. Yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, it's meant for that, and also USB-C input as well. So if you are, know you're going to be stationary for the whole day okay. uh, somewhere, just uh, get a quick charge uh, uh, wall brick, plug it in and it's all set, and then when you have to go uh, mobile again, use the batteries. And that's a USB-C input on the battery. Uh, indeed yeah. it is, yeah. yeah. So it gives a constant 12 volt, basically, mm -hmm. for your whole uh, setup. Then it has six outputs, and they are divided in two groups. Okay. Uh, they are uh, four pin outputs. Uh, they are both, uh, this one is uh, fused a bit higher, uh, as in individually, uh, five amps. These are two amps individually. Uh, both are five amps. It means that usually you want to run your mixer or your high uh, current draws on the uh, output ones of uh, group one, so to speak. Then on group two are your accessories. So uh, you can be running there levelers. two two amps and four, sorry, two five amps. Yeah, a total seven is, it can be a bit confusing, uh, yeah. but the groups are seven, rated for seven. Okay. Then the individual outputs are rated as well five and two for yeah. the uh, specifically group but one. But you can two. run a total of seven amps. Total of 10. Total, total of 10, seven. Yeah. okay. And then uh, there are two toggle switches on the front mm -hmm. uh, to basically uh, turn on and off one of the two groups. So if you're only running, for example, boom and um, in your mixer, recorder, yeah, you can leave the second one off. Okay. And then when you need your wireless, if you have connected that to the second group, you so just, just to focus off. on that, you can't individually turn off the individual outputs yeah, in the each groups. group. Yeah. You're turning off groups. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. 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 And for the rest, there's no menu or something in it. It's just literally the readout of the battery uh, in a nice display. Yeah, yeah. You, see, uh, you see your uh, gauge uh, going down uh, during yeah. the day. There's also another uh, USB out on the front which we typically use for like, if you want to charge quickly your phone yeah, yeah, yeah. or something like that. So, I mean, you know, no surprises here. You're getting a lot of good information coming out on the screen. Yeah. Um, you're not going to get an, uh, excuse me, a nasty shock from your battery. No, definitely yeah. not, no. So what, what, are we, what are we getting on the front here? So it starts with uh, how many hours left of the battery. Uh, that makes it a bit easier instead yeah. of uh, uh, converting the wattage you're actually drawing into that. Well, that's, that, that's what you need is, how, yeah, long, how long have I got? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do With what I need I'm to doing run back moment. to my car <laughs> yeah, yeah. for a second battery. Then uh, what you can see in the top one here at the moment is your, uh, in this case, the, the B input because it's uh, labeled uh, A and B. Yeah. So now the I B one has yeah, the battery. Yeah, yeah. So that's showing the telemetry of the B input. Mm -hmm. So at the moment we are drawing 0 0.2 amps and that's because the screen is on. So yep. Obviously, the screen yeah. takes some uh, amperage as well. Uh, it says that it's 21 degrees, the battery actually. 
uh, eight cycles it has. Uh, that's uh, at the moment about it. Yeah, because I mean, there's nothing uh, going on here on this one actually, because this one is actually powering something. Yeah, you can see that it's now uh, have about 12 hours left in yeah. the battery, which. Uh, both groups on and it's now at the moment just powering the mixer and the uh, uh, Tanko device. Mm -hmm. One of the accessories we made for it as well is this USB-C uh, splitter cable okay. that does two things. First of all, uh, it has a hi uh, four pin output. Yeah, and these are high rows compatible yeah. outputs on there. Exactly, uh, two, three uh, USB-C uh, leads and it converts it in this small um, oh, super, brick, yeah. uh, if you will, uh, into 5 volts. Into 3, 5 volts, yeah. 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 That's yeah. an additional accessory should you... Exactly, so if you have it. like back uh, stuff in your back that it's USB-C powered, such mm -hmm. as a time code device or some uh, receivers uh, also can be powered by USB-C, you mm -hmm. can use uh, one of these leads. So uh, this is an isolator, uh, ground loops, humps, if there's something nasty and you don't want to dig all your whole back out, you just put one of these in between and it takes out... Uh, takes it all out. Takes yep. a, a big headache out of it. Mm -hmm. So you can even uh, daisy chain it, for example. Sometimes USB-C devices have a lot of yeah, issues. Causing a lot of problems, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you plug it in, you sort it. And we also... Uh, so basically the kit comes with one cup. So it's like for ready a smart, to go. For a smart battery, or is that for yeah. smart or yeah. dumb batteries? Or? No, this is a, for the SM bus batteries okay. indeed. So it comes with one. So uh, if you want another one, you have to purchase that one separately. So that's one uh, product uh, we yep. sell as well. We also come with a dedicated high rose one. So if you just need a cup to power a single device or you already own a different uh, distributor, you can uh, get one of our cups as well. Okay. And then you need high uh, cables. So this is, for example, to power the sure. mixer. Or, and this is for electro and such Ah, yeah, the, 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 uh, the locking yeah. three, three, five. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Super. And then this one is a, a, another input cable, basically. So this is to TA4 to a D-tab. So if you yeah. have uh, so-called dump Batteries, whether yeah, yeah, it's the okay, MP1 right. yeah, yeah. or the or like a V mount battery, you can just plug this. And then on the screen, what what, what kind of information? Voltage. It's coming from a dumb battery, voltage. so pure, purely <laughs> yeah. voltage. It yeah. measures the voltage, so then you have yeah. to keep in mind what the drop off is of your specific yeah. battery. Uh, yeah. So this is, I mean, you know, ideally this is a solution that you're using with smart batteries because they've got yeah. they've got so much information to give, and it's nice that they've now got somewhere to display it. Yeah, indeed. Um, yeah. You know, looking at the the form factor, I mean, it's nice and it's it's very light. There's uh, there's no yeah. great extra weight in your bag there, which yeah, is lovely. It's aluminum. Aluminum, yeah. And then a clip there so that you can clip it into your bag, like we've got this one here. Yeah. And that clip can work in either direction, yeah. I think, can't it? Yeah, yeah. So you can put it on the front or the back. And some uh, thread mounts. Oh yeah. So if you uh, want to be more secure. Yep. You can use it as such as well. Yeah, thread mount on the top and the and, and the bottom. Yeah. And then um, you're not accidentally going to knock these off because I can see that the the toggles lift and lock function, which Indeed, is yeah. which is great. So they're not going to get yeah, accidentally knocking off your power halfway through the day, which could be a bit embarrassing. Exactly. So yeah. that's cool. So that's fabulous. I mean, you know, it is a nice little solution that you know it's it's power made a little bit more interesting with a lot more. You know, useful information. It is. There. Yeah, it's so yeah. it's like it's one of those things that are not really sexy but very useful. Yeah, nice uh, to have. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. Uh, but and in, in a way, uh, a bare necessity. Uh, yeah. Because without power. <laughs> well, without power, you've uh, you've lost everything. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. Well, that's the uh, that's the little roundup on the SPD one. Vincent, thank you very much. Yeah. No worries. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs>